Oh, hey guys, here we go. Part three case. <laughs> but before we get into this, it is sponsored by Mirage Trading. Looking for sealed boxes yourself? Be sure to check out MirageTrading.com. Featuring all the new boxes, ranging from hockey to TCG. Be sure to check out the summer sale. Featuring highly competitive pricing and free shipping for orders over $175. And tell about Mirage Trading has approved their free shipping order processing policy. 90% of all orders will be fulfilled within one business day. And the rates for express shipping are very competitive. And also be sure to check out Sezzle, the buy now and pay later. To make purchasing those bigger ticket items easier. Also be sure to check out the rewards program in which customers can redeem points for discounts. With each dollar spent as one point, with more rewards to come in the future. Thank you, Mars Train, for sponsoring today's video. Against this break. All right, part three of the case. Boxes is six, seven, and eight. Twenty-one, twenty-two SBA. Be sure to check out part one and part two. That being said, let's just get right into it. Stuff box six right here. Okay, box number six of the case. Highly recommend checking out part one and two. Not sure what's in store for part three here, but let's get right into it. Okay, we first pack up here. What do we have here? We got a lemon red patch ready. Imagine rookie Jonathan Dolan and a Marner die cut. More Jonathan Dolan, even though. No, he's fricked off, but we got Limited Future Watch, Todd Colson, Victor Future Watch Tier 1, Cole Lind, and a Jonathan Dolan again, SP Top Rookies Blue. Okay, I'm just taking the boxes from the top as well. So after this, we'll be halfway through. We got Protus, Limited Red Future Watch, Pageantry, Olison, and a Kane die cut. Okay, oh, we got a fricked up car in the back there. Oh, we got a Future Watch, not Redemption, so it might not be that large there. Ryan Riley Pageantry, Dennis Senko, SP Top Rookies, might not even be signed here. It is... Wait, before that, we got Ryan Riley. Is that Leeson? It's not Protus. It's... Yeah, Brett Leeson. There you go. Future Watch Auto. There you go. There's Leeson. Anaheim, right? Drafted as an overager. Played for Canada Juniors there, so... It's an okay Future Watch Auto to get. Not the best, but definitely not the worst, so... There you go. Brett Leeson, Future Watch Auto. First autograph of this box. Leeson's 21-22. I'm glad we're aggressively avoiding the 11-12 retros. Hopefully, we don't get one here. What do we have here? We got another limited red. So many of these. The Brinkett, Pageantry, Kalanuk, and a Quinn Hughes Blue Die Cut. Okay. Halfway point here. Looks like we got, perhaps, a 102 autograph here, even though they don't give a lot of space to sign, but but maybe it's just a retro future watch. Top rookie sample Ranta. Uh, is it signed? No, it's a limited. William Eklund. Future watch limited 136 to 150. There you go. There's a 102 retro limited 150, which is actually correct numbering for back in 102 for the limiteds. But there you go. William Eklund. Future watch. Okay. So the autograph from the first box here. See if it is right here, which it is. What the heck is this? It's definitely different. Truly a Giordano. We got Patrick rookie Reinhardt. Is it this one? Ooh, UD Authentics. I haven't pulled one of these yet. It is Shane Corson. Yeah, Shane Corson. UD Authentics. There you go. These aren't numbered, but like patch auto versions as well. There you go. UD Authentics auto. Shane Corson. Interesting name there. But there you go. There's our second autograph. Good to see some retired content here compared to a bunch of rookies that we're getting. But Joe Valena, Limited Red, Ajahn Tree, Paul Coffey, and a Jared Spurgeon True Leader. Second last pack of box number one here this break. We have Ron Limited Red, Spectrum Flurry, and Top Rookie Cylinder. And the final pack for this box here. See if there's anything in here. Nope. No autograph or number card, but Beckman, Limited Red, Pack. Pageantry, Cam York, Lapierre Topper. All right, let's check out box seven of the case. Okay, that prior box wasn't all that great in my opinion. Then again, we're opening three boxes per part here, so we're bound to have at least one good pull from here, right? Like, very solid pull, but let's continue on here. Nephew Tyler, Limited Red. We got a Pageantry, Bergeron, Caprice off die cut. Still waiting on a certain case hit. We're waiting on a couple cases, actually, including an auto patch and that hollow foil card, but Ulanen, Limited Red there, Pageantry, Quinn Hughes, and a Posmanac die cut. Okay, next pack up here. Do we have Autograph? Uh, no, we got Limited Red Future Watch, Dora Fayev, and Parker Kelly, Spectrum Future Watch, and Thomasino Top Rookies. And then we get next up here. Oh, we got a Future Watch potentially autographed. Another 2122. There's a Swayman SP Top Rookies. We got a pageantry of Jeff Petrie. Oh, I see it there. It's a little Tampa Bay Lightning. So there's Cam Talbot and it is Boris Kachuk, former Tampa Bay Lightning, but Future Watch Autumn. There we go. There's Kachuk on Chicago now. Part of the Brandon Hagel trade. Again, another all right one. Not the best one, but hey, it's a 2122 Future Watch Autumn. Let's start off box number two for the autograph content. All right, let's see what the next autograph is going to be. It's probably going to be right here. No, maybe not. Well, there's an Elvis Limited. There's a Kopitar. And we got, oh, Rasmus Kupari. Another SP Limited Future Watch. 150-150, last one there. So there's Kupari and a Kopitar, true leader. Okay, still looking for that second autograph here. We got Limited Red, Seth Jarvis. We got Pageantry Marner and a Matthew Phillips, SP Top Rookies Blue. We have here, do we have the autograph here? What is this? No, it's Limited Red. The last hurdle. Spectrum Clayton Keller and a new hook top rookies three packs left box number seven here of the case Autograph's gonna be here, isn't it? Uh, no. Another limited red. Grubauer. Limited red. We got pageantry Huberto and Ryan O'Reilly, true leaders. Is it here? Is that a patch? 
Yeah, that's definitely a patch. All right, let's see what our patch is. Hopefully it's something half decent here, but Joe Valeno, SP Top Rookies. Uh, we got Pageantry Rookie Lundell. Hopefully it's not the only one for the case. Hopefully it's actually two per case. And we got Vorchex, so is it this way? Yeah, there's the head right there. It is Kupari again. Uh, okay, well, there you go. That's not too bad. Rasmus Kupari. Huge watch auto patch. 73 of 100. There you go. There's Kupari. See what happens with this guy. He was like a fourth liner for them this past year, but definitely has a skill to be much more than that. But we shall see. I was hoping for the other king for the future watch auto patch, but there you go. There's a Rasmus Kupari future watch auto patch. Hopefully, that's not our only auto patch of the case, but yeah, that's an above average one to get there, so I'll take that. And the final pack for box number seven. See if there's anything here. Nope. Bari Blue, Lemmy Red, Pageantry Teravinen, and True Lose Yours. All right, box number eight. This will officially be the halfway point as soon as we finish opening this box okay well we got an auto patch i don't know if this one per case two per case i'm hoping it's still two even though this is an aggressively watered down product continue to say it but we have anything here no fabian zetterlin limited red we got perfetti rookie decision top rookie and then next up we get we got limited red quinn hughes pageantry rookie tomasino and a barkov truly is green well, that. i'm hoping we get a true case as well we've got some nice pulls but nothing i would say hey that's the case hit. still hoping to get a future watch black one of these days as well but uh what do we have here golden let me future watch pageantry cam atkinson and a truly has been all right i'm not expecting there to be like a mcdavid auto in every case but i'm hoping for something large right you spent four grand on this then again i did anticipate getting like a few 300 dollars poles or a couple 300 dollars poles but as far as that limited red and not really getting anything else marner spectrum bergeron true leaders okay next pack up here looks like we get a limited red yep jake neighbors limited red spectrum future watch jacob bernard docker and augustus and sp top rookies halfway point in a box number eight here oh we got future watch another 21 22 though which is nice Nils Lindquist top rookies kind of weird that we're avoiding all the retros in terms of autographs but Dougie Hamilton Matthew Kachuk we're not really getting good names here though we have that's Duhame right that's Duhame yeah Brandon Duhame is the card behind him as well first we got um, Austin Matthews pageantry but Brandon Duhame future watch auto so there you go there's Duhame decent bottom six doesn't have massive upside but good player for the wild and there's his future watch auto another 21 22 FWA so I mean I'll take it um, let's, oh my gosh, we have another patch here. Okay, well, I guess that's how we're going to end part three here. I guess I'll be getting swung on in the Walmart parking lot levels of Hostile. And let's save that there. But Sandstorm Limited, Future Watch, Pageantry, Gallagher, Style of Top Rookies. I mean, this could be our case hit. It's kind of crazy. I have two auto patches in the same part here. But yeah, Miko Rantanen, Limited Red, David Ferentz, Retro Future Watch, the 900 there. So there's another 102 Retro Future Watch and a Quentin Byfield die cut. Well, it's definitely not a redemption for the auto patch there. I know like Zegris and a lot of the main guys that have future watch auto patches i know cider doesn't unfortunately but that'll be a redemption Ryan O'Reilly limited red pageantry rookie pod colson and a connor hellbuck die cut okay so we definitely do have another patch here there's a pod colson top rookies uh, we get pageantry joe sackick john gibson is it here is it uh, what's that say oh there you go it is uh, Zach Jones. Okay. Well, there you go. Hey, ooh, nice patch. Zach Jones. Future watch. Patch auto. 26 of 100. There you go. Very nice patch there for the Rangers. So there's Zach Jones. Could be something decent for the Rangers there, but hasn't really carved out a full time role with them. So there you go. There's a Zach Jones. Future watch auto patch. Nice card there. And that concludes part three of this case. Hey, guys. This is part three of the case for 2122 SBA. Of course, we got a bunch of shiny red stuff, adding about 10 bucks in value there. For a number of cards, we got some retro future watches, the 102s, including two limits. Limiteds. We got the Ferentz 900. We got two limiteds, Rasmus Kupari and William Eklund. As for future watch autos, we got three 2122 future watch autos, all of which are okay. I wouldn't say none of them are great, none of them are horrendous, but we got Brent Duhame, Boris Kachuk, and Brett Leeson. We got a UD Authentics auto of Shane Corson, finally getting a miscellaneous non rookie autograph. And then we got both of our patch autos for the case Rasmus Kupari 73, nice patch there. Both of these have really nice patch there. We got Zach Jones 26 of 100. So all in all, decent break. I'm still expecting some sort of large pull i guess is that asking for too much but i feel like it's never gonna come but i guess we'll find out yeah guys stay tuned for more breaks to come as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys later